Hello everyone and welcome to my latest tutorial and today's tutorial is all about creating player renders. Uh, now I appreciate that there'll be subscribers or followers on my Instagram who want to know how to make uh, player renders uh, for their graphic designs, for their, uh, for their images and if you're a supporter of a club that's in the lower leagues that's not fortunate enough to have all their players pasted up pasted over social media in the internet, okay, it can be quite frustrating, especially if it doesn't feature on uh, websites like footyrenders.com. Uh, however, I'm here to help you. So, again, as well, you might have uh, might be followers from all around the world uh, whose teams uh, don't feature on Footy Renders. They might not be from Europe, okay? And so, like I've just said, this tutorial is for you. So, we want to get a nice, high-quality image of a player, okay? So, when you go into uh, Google search, okay, go to uh, Settings, and then you want to go to advanced settings and with the size you want to try and choose a, uh, a large size uh, if you choose say we've got 640 by 453 if we zoom in okay you do start to lose the quality um, so I've gone to uh, the local uh, local paper Doncaster Free Press of uh, Ben Whiteman okay League One player and we're going to cut him out and make him into a player render uh, so let's begin what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in the image of the player and I'm just going to get rid of the little padlock down here. Now what I would always advocate is hitting P for your pen tool and cutting round like you've seen me do countless times on, uh, on my other tutorials okay and close your path, hit selection and then mask it and then press command or control J, duplicate it get rid of your background and, and save it and that, that is one way to do it however we're going to use the quick select uh, quick selection tool um, but first I'm going to crop it so I'm going to press C on my keyboard or uh, go to the little crop icon over here make sure you've got ratio selected so you can change the confines and I'm just going to pull it in just enough so we can create him there we go I'm going to hit enter and this is what we're now going to work with. So, like I've just mentioned before, hit W, or um, if you don't see it, hold down uh, on the uh, Magic One tool and just select the Quick Selection tool. Now on here, you can change the size, the hardness, the spacing, okay? But what you can also do is use the square bracket keys uh, that I use quite a lot when I'm changing brush sizes, and I never really mention it, people always ask me, okay? And that will um, change your bracket size which will become quite apparent in a minute. And I'm just gonna start painting round. Now we've got quite a complicated background, so sometimes it might be easy to select the player. Uh, but in this instance, I'm just gonna go around. Now you see it's chopped in there. That is not a problem, because we're gonna tidy it up in a minute. Okay, I just do it in steps. And use the bracket keys just to change the size. And it's engulfed it all there. That's not a problem. Okay, what we can do now is we can just zoom in, hold Alt on your keyboard, and this will invert it. Okay, and you can just press out. That's not a bad job on the hand, but again, what we can do is just sorry, just hold Alt, and the software will try and pick it up uh, as best as possible. Go for something like that. Okay, I'm just holding Alt on my keyboard. I'm pasting out. Okay, it can be quite frustrating sometimes, um, but it is worth it. And do his fingers there, and just there. Now, if you're using this um, this technique as well, I would always say uh, use this. Uh, that's okay. I would always just say uh, just use this technique for an image of say. Um, a player, a player in the background, something that the focus is not going to be on. I would, uh, I would always recommend using the pen tool. And just get a bit of the stud in, just there. And you notice the shirt up here. Okay, we're going to hold Alt down. That line there. And just the shoulder there. So the software has even picked it up when it's uh, contrasting against the uh, the chairs as well around his face. So if we just zoom in there, you can see 
for and his eye get as much of his hair in as possible and yeah okay we're just going to zoom out okay what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hit the mask button down at the bottom and all we need to do is just make sure this little icon is selected go to image adjustments and invert it and fantastic now we've got our um, our lay mask selected hit B for the brush tool make sure you've got black selected here okay and we need to get rid of that head there. I've just noticed that. Okay, I'm going to go for a hard brush size up here. Capacity 100%, flow 100%. Okay, I'm just going to paint away his head there. And I'm also just going to do in between his arms. Now, we could have used the quick selection tool here, but um, it's just one way of doing it. Right, just paint down there. Okay, so um, I appreciate it. I have uh, I have rushed it a little bit. Okay, always uh, always take your time with this uh, with this stuff. Yeah, not going to fly through it uh, and get it right. Just take your time. Okay, that will do for now. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, select. Okay, and we're going to choose select and mask. On an older versions, I think it's called uh, maybe refine edge. I think that remember. Uh, rings a bell. Okay, we're going to go come down to global uh, refinements, and I'll just zoom in. Now you see it's not as clean, is it? It's not as uh, as as clean cut as what the pen tool would produce. So we can adjust the smoothness, and if we come out too too much, okay, you can see the difference we've made there. We made it nice, but I'm going to bring that down, and we'll look at twenty. That looks okay. Now you can adjust the feather. And if I slide out, okay, you can see uh, what difference that makes. So with the feather, I usually, uh, when I have used this in the past, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Uh, again, contrast, if you slide that out, it uh, sharpens it up, but it also brings back the pixelated edge. So each image is going to be different. So 25% looks okay for me there. And the shift edge, okay, if we drop it down too much, Okay, you can, uh, you can see how we're shifting the edge, usually around 25% for that one as well. And it's looking a lot better. Now what we can do is, if we show the original there, loads up, you can see the difference. So if I zoom in a little bit, so it's a little bit better around his arm. Okay, show the original. And don't show the original. Uh, yeah, I think that's looking really good. Okay, click OK. And uh, there is our player. All we need to do now, press Command-0, has come out. Uh, we're looking fantastic. So now all I'm going to do is go to File, Save As. Now this is the, the most important part. Okay, and I'm going to save this uh, in one of my folders. I'm going to save it as a PNG file. And let's click Save. Okay, largest file size, click OK. And then if I go to my Finder, and there is our PNG. Now, straight away on this background, I can see where it's, uh, it's not quite clean there. So what we can do, okay, Quality quality checks. Okay, what you could do is for quality assurance, create a new layer, drop it behind, and press Alt and Backspace if you've got black selected. Okay, and your quality checks, you can just see uh, what's going on. Hit B for your brush tool. 
and go for a soft brush and put it about 90%. And have a look around. Like I said, if you're using this technique, I would uh, advocate using it for um, get rid of that, and then uh, just save it again as a PNG um, and produce your file. Like I said, if you're going to use this PNG now, I would uh, have it as as a player in the background, something that you're uh, you're not that that the uh, the graphic is not fully uh, designed or looking at. And I would just use the pen tool. So what did I mean by the pen tool? Okay, if I uh, just get rid of that, I'll just delete that layer mask. Okay, if I hit the pen tool, okay, this is quite a crude example. But if I just, as so I've cut around the player, okay, I'll just uh, choose selection, click OK. I'll press Command J, working on the Mac or Control J. Okay, and just remove it like that. File, save as a PNG and that's how you would do it um, again but not everyone's confident on the pen tool so I hope you learned something there hope you learned how to uh, how to create your, your player PNG I hope that that helps you with the uh, quick selection tool and gives you some guidance uh, if you did like this tutorial uh, please hit that like button uh, just to help my channel grow and if you're new to my channel please look at my uh, other content and consider subscribing thank you for watching and I'll see you in a tutorial very soon